How to create an animated forward or reverse timer in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4. Inside your project edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects. And go to add a Fusion Composition clip to your edit timeline. With this new clip selected, hold a Control or Command if you're a Mac user and press D to change the duration. Ensure that you add one additional frame to the end of your chosen duration so that the timing on display at the start and at the end of your timer effect will be in whole seconds. Click Change when you're done. Right click on the Fusion Composition clip and go to Open a Fusion page. Inside your Fusion window, select an ellipse node from above the nodes panel. Select either the left or right view options underneath these nodes to see a preview of your work as you are working in Fusion. With the ellipse one node selected, under Inspector and Controls, we will first incorporate the animated circular line which appears around the time. Untick Solid, increase border width to 0.04, and to add a gentle feather effect around the edges of your circular line, increment Soft Edge to 0.0025. Ensure that your red frame pointer on the Fusion timeline is positioned at the start of your video clip, here in this example frame 0.0. .0. Decrease length to zero. At present the line will emerge from the right side of the circle. In order to change the position of this white dot so that it starts at the top of the circle instead, change position to 0.25. Go to select the keyframe diamond icon to the side of length so that we can apply an animation effect to this property. Position the red timeline pointer on your final frame here in this case 240. Increment the length value to one. At present, the animated circular line flows in anti-clockwise format. In order to invert this, deselect ellipse 1 by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid. Hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the transform exif tool. Select this and go to click on add. Click on the grey box alongside ellipse 1. Hold your mouse button down and drag your cursor to the yellow arrow alongside transform 1 to make a connection. With Transform 1 selected, under Inspector and Controls, click on the Horizontal Flip option underneath Transform. We can now see that the horizontal line is revealed in clockwise format. Before adding the inner shaded section of our timer circle, we need to ensure that the white circle effect which reveals as the timer runs appears in front of this. In order to make this work, disconnect Transform 1, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Merge tool. Connect Transform 1 to the green foreground arrow of Merge 1, so that the white ring appears in front of the shaded circle that we will add later on. With Merge 1 selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a second Merge tool, which should be automatically connected via the yellow background arrow. Connect Merge 2 to Media Out 1. We will use the second Merge tool to connect the running timer that we will add later on. Deselect your nodes, select Ellipse 1 only, Hold in Control and press C to copy. Deselect this node and hold in Control and press V to paste. We will use this duplicated ellipse node to create the shaded inner section of your timer appearing behind the time code itself. With the duplicated ellipse node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, tick Solid. To change the color of the ellipse, deselect the duplicated ellipse node Go to add a background tool from the nodes options above and connect the duplicated ellipse node to this via the effect mask arrow. Select the background node. Underneath inspector and color, rather than changing the color of this particular circle, I will simply add some transparency to this. I will decrease the alpha value therefore to 0.75. Connect background 1 to the yellow background arrow alongside merge 1 so that the animated white circular line appears in front of this. Disconnect your nodes. Go to select a text plus node from the options above the nodes grid. Connect this new tool to the green foreground arrow of Merge 2. With text 1 selected, under Inspector, right click in the empty text box which appears in the properties and go to select Time Code. For this particular example, I only want the seconds and frame numbers to be displayed. Therefore, in order to remove the hours and minutes on displayed, 
I will select modifiers next to tools and untick hours and minutes below controls. Return to tools and adjust the font style, color and size as you wish. Back inside the edit window, if I place this timer clip above a solid colored dark blue filter, we can see that on preview that the timer runs from zero to 10 seconds. Should you wish for your timer to function in reverse format instead, where it goes from 10 seconds to zero here, for example, open up your fusion composition clip in fusion once again, select your original ellipse node, which represents the white line, which gradually grows as the timer runs. Go to your first keyframe at the start of your clip and change length from zero to one. Now go to the final frame containing another keyframe for this particular property and invert the length here from one to zero. Return to your edit window. Right click on your fusion composition clip and go to select new compound clip. Click on create once you've given the clip a name of your choice. Right click on the new compound clip and go to select change clip speed. Tick reverse speed. Click change. And now the white border line will expand as the timer runs down in reverse format. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.